This is Kododoric. Let's see what we have here. Now let's get a little fancier. Perfect. You can combine the text stored in the variable with other text. Yes, we can. Do Oh, and this is a perfect example. So we're going to take a look at this. Do this. Look through the new blocks in the world category. Okay. What am I doing with them? Use the block with your use these blocks with your print statement so that it combines other text with the text from your variable. Ooh, that's a lot of lingo, but first, I know that these must be the new blocks, so I'm going to grab a couple. One. And, oh, well, do I want a couple? Sure. Let's do it like they have, so I'll sandwich this. Blop. And then world. Blop. Smack. Okay, I'm going to reattach this to print. Use these blocks with your print variable. So, uh, so so that it combines other text with the text from your variable. You might want to change the question you're asking or the label of your variable. Yes. Lever challenge, click the light bulb to the left if you would like to see an example. Oh, we got this. All right, so I could leave this as answer, and I will for now, but then I'll also show you renaming it. So right here, print what? Well, uh, it's going to print answer. What is answer equal to? I lied. Let's go ahead and rename this. Uh, I'm going to say user input. All right? So rename. And I just renamed all of these. So now this is equal to user input because that's technically professionally what this would be called. The user's inputting entering data. So user input. So when I hit run, guys, right, I just want to hit this one more time, hit this hat. When I hit run, the background set, sprite is plopped. And then on the screen happens is what is your favorite star? Right now, this is a preview. It technically doesn't quote unquote run until I slap the run button. And then it's going to wait. It waits for an answer to this. Now, where will it store my answer? Well, prompt the user for this. For variable, it's going to store it in input now. So whatever I say, the computer is going to say, okay, input is equal to this, right? I could say my favorite star is three. <laughs> that looks like a nothing. Uh, input would then be equal to three. So then the computer says, ah, input. Okay, input's equal to something. This is not connected, right? It's rounded just like up here. So this can only run if input is equal to something. When I first click the run button, input's equal to nothing. And so therefore, when input's answered, input's not answered, there's nothing there. However, when I click this check, input is now valid. It is equal to something, user input. User input's equal to something. And it will print, oh, I got to pick. Your favorite star is whatever they put. And I'm going to say, all right, let's give this a shot. My favorite star is my friend star e that i think it's funny oh 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 no oh no i didn't get it i was i was typing so what haha <laughs> ta-da oh oh wait keep play i just noticed something your friend what is your favorite star i want to put a space now let's try this uh, right. My favorite star is Fred. Bam. Yeah. Looking good. Cool. Onward.